Hey everyone, welcome back to Cube King. In this video, we will be going through all kinds of patterns that you can try on your Rubik's Cubes, whether it be a 2x2, 3x3, pyramids, or even some fun bonuses. This video has all kinds of patterns that you can try out for, your, for yourself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm sure you've heard of the basic checkerboard pattern, but if not, that's okay, you can do it like this. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Feel free to rewind to watch that again. But what if you wanted to do it on the two by two? All you have to do is these four moves. R2, F2, R2, U2. And then here's it again faster. And also it's not possible to get these checkered. It's just how the two by two works. But here's it again faster. But what if you wanted to do it on a 4x4? Four four? All you have to do is combine both patterns that we just learned into one. So we do wide moves like this. So R2, F2, R2, U2. And that's just like what the 2x2 two two looks like. So now we treat it like a 3x3 three three and we do M moves like this. And this is the result. Continuing on the theme of checkerboards, you can do an advanced checkerboard that looks something like this. In order to do this pattern, it's best if you know move notation, and I'll have the algorithm at the top. But if not, that's okay. I'll go through the moves as we go along. F, B2, R prime, D2, B, R, U, D prime, R, L prime, D prime, F, R2, D, F2, and B. We're finally done with all the checkerboards, so let's get on to some new patterns. The super flip is a pretty cool pattern in which every single edge is flipped. So, in order to do it, you do these four moves repeatedly. M prime, U, M prime, U, M prime, U, M prime, U. And then you repeat it on this side, and then this side. And the result is this pretty awesome pattern. A cool super flip I found for the pyramids looks a little bit like this, with all of the centers flipped. In order to do this pattern, all you have to do is these moves. R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R, U prime. And then you twist the corner, and then you rotate to the next side. Twist the corner, and rotate to the next side. And now you've got this side. So now all you have to do is the last time and twist the corner. And this is what it looks like. For the next set of patterns, it's best if you can do slice moves like this. But if not, that's okay. You can just do moves like this. Same result. The first pattern is the six dots pattern, which in order to do it, you do this move, this move, this, and that. And then in order to undo it, you just redo those moves. So this one needs to go here. So I'm going to move that one down, and then this one over, and then this one back up, this one back. Another pattern is the four dots pattern, which looks like this, with only four dots. In order to do this pattern, you do these slice moves. And then to undo that, all you have to do is repeat it again. Now, I like the four dots pattern on the three by three, but unfortunately it's not, able, it's not possible to flip the yellow and white ones. So I found out how to do it on a four by four. So what you want to do is this move twice, this move, this move, and then move it back. And then now we've created half of the center. So we want to flip it over, do these moves. And there, now we have only two centers flips. So now all we have to do is that same pattern that you just learned. And this is what it looks like. Personally, I, I like this one a lot better. The next few patterns that we'll be showing are the cube and a cube variants, which look 
really cool. And again, it's best if you know move notation, but if not, that's okay. I'll go along with the moves and there will also be an algorithm at the top. U prime, L prime, U prime, F prime, R2, B prime, R, F, U, B2, U, B prime, L, U, F, U, R, F prime. In order to undo that pattern, you flip it over to the other side and repeat the algorithm. If you want to do this pattern on a 2x2, two two, it looks pretty funny because it's just a twisted corner. But in order to do that, you just do the same pattern. U prime, L prime, U prime, F prime, R2, B, R, F, U, B2, U, B prime, L, U, F, U, R, F prime. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And no, I did not twist the corner. Like the 3x3, in order to do this pattern on a 4x4, you do it, you treat it like a 3x3 by turning outer layers, and treat it like a 2x2 by turning inner layers. So, we do the 3x3 version, U prime, L, U prime, U prime, F prime, R2, B prime, R, F, U, B2, U, B prime, L, U, F, U, R, F prime. And then, now we're gonna turn it over like this, and then we're gonna do the two by two version. So U prime, L prime, U prime, F prime, R2, B prime, R, F, U, B2, U, B prime, L, U, F, U, R, F prime. And then we have our four by four cube in a cube in a cube in a cube. In order to undo this pattern, all you have to do is start with a 2x2, two two, but do it on the opposite side that you had done it before. So go through the algorithm again. And then we're going to rotate it and then do the 3x3 three three version. And there we go. Back to solved. The next couple of patterns are going to be cross patterns. The first cross pattern we're going to be doing is a combination of the four dots pattern and the checkerboard pattern. So first you start out with the checkerboard. Now we have the checkerboard, we move on to the four dots pattern. And then boom, we have four, a checker and four crosses and another checker. The next checkerboard pattern will be uh, just four crosses without the checkerboard at the top. So the moves you will be doing are M2, U2, M2, D2, and now you have one cross, and then you do, you rotate it over and then do it again. And then this time you do a U2 instead of a D2. And this is what it looks like. Like the, like the first one, but without the checker. The next set of patterns are gonna be some weird ones that I found for non-standard cubes. If you have a super floppy cube, you can do a checkerboard pattern by doing R2, L2, U2, and D2. And this is what it looks like. And then you can maybe spin it if you got the spinner version. Looks pretty cool. This is a mirror cube, and I'm just going to be applying the checkerboard pattern or the super flip to it. So this is what the checkerboard pattern looks like. And it looks very, very weird. So let's go ahead and undo that. And now I'm going to do the super flip. So just do it the same way you've been learning. This looks 
incredibly scrambled. But it's not because it's just a normal super flip. On this cube, I'm going to be applying the dots patterns. So I thought, I thought that would look pretty cool. So the first one. And now it's not the dots patterns. It's 3D now. And then we undo that. And then uh, four dots. And that's what it looks like. This, these ones are pretty cool. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and share this to all your cubing friends. But that's all for today's video. Bye.